prefer this type of dial uh -huh. versus the Tesla gear thing, to be yeah. honest. Because sometimes it's like it's like all the way up hard to reverse, and mm -hmm. I just like to see it. I like the dial interface. I really like the screen. Really visible. So over there you have your range, your percent, yep. miles per hour. Wow, and you already have 2,000 miles and, on this? And this is a, an eye detector. So if you fall to sleep, your car automatically stops. So it's going to ask you, first of all, warning, say, uh, and I will show you that in the freeway. Oh, look, right there. it picks up on the yeah. video, the sensors. That's cool. So it's going to tell you, hey, watch the road. If you don't watch the road, automatically it stops the car in the middle of the freeway and puts you on the side. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Wow. That's good. That's a lot of safety features. So that's good. So we didn't do the introduction. Hi, I'm Peter. This is my friend, Ivan. <laughs> Ivan. I like to call him Ivan, but <laughs> he goes by Ivan. Sometimes he calls me Pedro, and I answer. <laughs> so we are in the Mach-E, and this is the 2022 or 2023? 2023. Wow. The touch screen is really good. We're gonna do a quick little music sample when we get on the freeway but it's really quiet it's old I mean it's a new car it drives like a new car but it's really smooth I mean the roads here in Utah can are not always the best and it's it's pretty it's also really quiet so with my phone we can measure the decibels so here we are at a stoplight pretty quiet and if I stop talking Like yeah, that's pretty quiet. But that can look quieter if you want. So now we'll go to whisper mode. So the unbridled mode not only affects the sound the car makes, but also like the horsepower and Okay. It makes us like the sport. Yeah. I really <clears> like the mode. the whole terminology of unbridled. <laughs> I mean, Mustang. Get it? Yeah, it's nice. Nice. And now when we get to the freeway, we'll take the... I'll put the uh, hand free. Awesome. And that would, that's what we, it's called the blue mode. That's what they call it. Blue? Yeah. Cool. You guys ready for blue mode? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> they open up. Go, time for some unbridled. So that's pretty good. We're going almost 70 miles an hour. Road noise is barely 60 decibels. It's really quiet in here. Because there are no kids in the back. And now we're hands free. So how long will it remain blue mode? Mm -hmm. All the time that you want. So it's not every minute you have to put your hands no, in the steering like, wheel? So certain, sometimes it goes, needs to calibrate, so it's asking you to put the hands on. Oh wow. But right now, even if you have a curve or anything, it's going to take the curves and everything. We're going to go to pro and you'll see. And then if you want it to go just one mile an hour faster? You can do it. Because I really like 73. I think 73 is the perfect speed. I know, you're 76. <laughs> 76 then, is pretty right now, good. I put but... my hand like this, you will see. Oh, it's going to wig out the sensor? Oh, watch yeah. The watch the road. So it's going to make sure that you're watching the road. So you have the hands free, but just for safety, you're supposed to be. And then, can it tell if your eyes are closed? Okay, I'm watching the road. There's nothing in front of us. No motorcycles, no pedestrians. Yep. Yep. Wow, that was like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So if you're dozing off, if you're the car that I needed in high school <laughs> when I was coming home way, way, way too late, and this would be me, I'd be like nodding off, it would have, it would have caught that. It would have caught the head, it would have caught my head bobbing. Mm -hmm. That's, that's really good to know. Wow. Right now it's asking keeps hands on steering wheel. Oh, okay. In a second it's going to ask. And more when it's raining, it needs to calibrate more because the lines 
probably be more invisible. Yeah. So certain road conditions, you may or may not have to touch the wheel now and again, but still. And, then, and it's going to last after it's like in a second. That's but nice to have a brake now and again. So if I don't, I only put my, like this, the steering wheel is going to move themselves. Yeah. And right now it's hands free. Yeah, even if you can have a minute or two of just a, a brake, that's so nice. But still, all the time you're scared, right? Because the car is like, yeah. uh, goes too close to the right side for my taste. So. The screen is so bright. I like the rounded edges. Now, does anything appear on this rear view mirror? So, these mirrors, they said those ones, the one when they reflect, goes darker. Oh, okay. So, that doesn't reflect the light to you, to your eyes. I think we need to play some Led Zeppelin. Huh? I think we need to play some Led Zeppelin. What do you think? What's that? Led, Led Zeppelin? Motley Crue? No? Motley Crue. What's that? Motley Crue? Okay, time for a quick audio test. We only get a few seconds where I get a copyright strike. Yeah, that's pretty good. More, but I don't have any copyright <laughs> licenses from Megan Trainer at this time. Maybe, uh, maybe in ten years. But that was a compliment, Dora. Wow! So even in the rain, it's able to do hands-free. Yeah, that's really cool. It's asking, sometimes we're not going to do well, just to call it rain, but <laughs> it really is a smooth ride. So right now, it's going to get out of the curve and look. So you like what? Now, which car did you have before this one? Uh, Chevy uh, Bolt. And compared to the Chevy Bolt, how much more do you like the Mustang? Oh, I love it. More <laughs> better. Beyond comparison. Were you tempted to get, were you thinking a Tesla, a Ford no. F-150 Lightning? Uh, F-150 is the one I was going to purchase, but it was going to take me like two years to be able to order the car. So that was on big delay? So I ordered this one immediately, but it took like a year and a half to be able to be shipped. So. Nice. Well, it's a beautiful day for a test drive. Thanks, Ivan. This is fun. <laughs> I really do like that they added more buttons. Mm -hmm. I like buttons. Yeah, here, like all these. Yeah. It looks like a normal steering wheel from the driver's the side, yeah. And you have Alexa as well, so you can connect the Alexa and ask. Nice. Um, to interact with the, with the car as well, so. Even like changing cabin temperature, stuff like that? So I think so. I didn't set it, didn't set it up yet, so. Very cool. I still need to connect because I need to update the the programming on the, on the car. Okay. Because the, one of the things that's happening is my GPS, if I connect the GPS on my phone, sometimes go out of calibration and it's telling you that you're driving through Utah Lake. <laughs> Try and job. then you need to disconnect and connect several times and start working normal again. Huh. So it's something weird is going on that. So uh, they told me I need to upload the new uh, version of the program. So. Oh, so there's a software update for yeah. your car. Just a software update for but the you car. Have, but you have the regular GPS. So you okay. Know, the, what is the, oh, just regular navigation. So you can use this one. Oh, what was the trip stats? Trip energy. This trip. Where did my energy go? Climate control. 76% driving. 2% accessories. Exterior temperature. Wow. So on the cold, like cold days, because not too long ago it was what, 22 degrees, uh -huh. when you commuted to Salt Lake, so how was the. You use my power. Oh, okay. You can see the. They tell you you have 240 and 60 miles away, and you only have maybe 130 miles left, so. But like from your home, fully charged, you can easily it's make it. So yeah. from 225, and I drive 16 on one miles, and I have 134 left. Oh, that's not bad at all. So, so you could easily go from Provo all the way to Ogden and back, and mm -hmm. still have yeah. enough to go get groceries. Go well, we dinner. went to Antelope Island with this car too. Oh wow! And then I charged back in Farmington with three kids in the car. Yeah, nice. So, because yeah, the back. Yeah, the back's really comfortable. And it's the hatchback yeah. as well. 
Wow. It's, sometimes it's just, you know, the little touches that really make the car. Press the volume on and off. Look at that nice animation. That's just, that's just fun. So that was the calm screen. So I went to home and then I went to, nope. Oh yeah, I went to controls. And then right here, instead of camera, I hit calm screen. And then just goes to this nice screen saver so the driver's not distracted. And honestly, you have everything you need to know right in front of you. They just touch to wake. I really love the whole, where did my energy go? <laughs> it really is a smooth ride. I mean, it should be for 20 grand. You got a killer deal. We're not gonna say how much it costs, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Tamaki is, you can look it up, but oh, he, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ivan paid 20 grand. He got a great deal. I wish. Yes. <laughs> And this is just fun. Radio. So if you notice that, the dial quickly changes to volume and not heat or anything because the car knows that you're doing the radio. And of course, XM radio, 90s on 9. Nice. Radio of Margaritaville. Oh, yeah. Seems like a painting. <laughs> and now it's off. Okay, now. Let's go. Oh, it's your dog. I thought the car was making that noise. Hey. Hi, puppy. So where does the, the, it appears like on the floor? Yeah, it's, it's coming from here. Oh, look, look, it's here. Can you see? That's right that is so cool. So at night, you'll see the Mustang just glowing. I can take a picture for you and send that to you. No, I'll come over at night tonight. Yeah. I have time. Yeah, as soon as it's dark, I can show you. It's a trunk space. You have a charger. Nice. Yes, you can and this is like for air pressure. Oh, nice. So, top off your tires. Now, is there a spare tire underneath? Um, I don't know. If I don't know too. I'm gonna check. Yeah, I like the uh, the mats you have. That's a lot of space. I don't think so. Is yeah. No. Oh. So then, will this close automatically? No. You just manual. That's good. Sometimes the automatic ones are a little annoying. The frunk. Okay, I love the little button to open it. Look. Whoa! So this is the cooler. So you have here the drain, so you can put full of ice and put your drinks, nice. and your food, and go camping or whatever or you want to go out for the day to mop. Wow! So you can put drinks and sandwiches. And there's the Mustang, the Mustang logo guy. right there. Or you can use it as a storage. So oh yeah! And then this yeah, is a, this is a safety easily. feature, just in case if your kids decide to play and hide, that they can press this and this automatically opens. Nice. That's very nice. And it's with a light, so. I don't. I don't know of a lot of cars that have put that in yet. That's really cool. So my guess is it is just for... If anything happens, they cannot be the yard. Yeah. I love the headlights. And this is the charger, so... Okay, so to charge it, you just come home, open the door. This is like for the full... And then it knows that you're nearby. That's why yeah. it's... Because if you weren't nearby, this wouldn't be available. And that this is going to tell you right now. So it's telling you that you have um, uh, 25%. Nice. 50% like the three, and then percent and four percent. Will it stop at 85% when it's full? No, it's tough. Um, it's tough. They advise you when it's 85%, but computer says it's 100. When it's 100, I have the, like, the emergency deposit, and that's send the information and stop sending power. Oh, nice, nice. And then your app at any time, you can yes. check it on your app and so let you know. Your app, you can see, yeah, right now I can see how much is. And how how much was it to have this charger put in? This is three hundred twenty-five dollars. That's not bad. Five hundred oh. for the plug. Oh, okay. So eight hundred. So not right bad. So saying it's charging and will be at twelve twelve a.m. will be full charge. Oh, perfect. I will be for that. Yes, yeah, so that's the the calculation. But 
Does it normally Might say like, like 9 p.m. Does it starts. does it let you know that it's charging at like five miles per hour? Does it have? Um, a... If you hear details, this will tell you. Uh, fifty nine. It still doesn't say. Oh, okay, so it takes a little bit to calibrate, yeah. and then because it's like just okay, very cool. Nice.